All right. <laughs> Kamikaze. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Are you happy today? Um, yeah. Are you having Super fun? Happy today. Yeah, yeah. Merry Why Christmas. is that? What day is it anyway? Christmas. Oh, yeah. That was a great hairdo. That is an amazing hairdo. You you give Glenn Plake a run for his uh, for his mohawk. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. See you, Mr. Grinch. See you, Ms. Santa. The sun is just beginning to come out from behind the clouds early on Wednesday morning. And I went skiing on Christmas Day and saw the Grinch in Cindy Luhu out on the hill. The terrain is limited up on Mammoth Mountain, so please be careful. Keep your eyes open if you're out there in mixed snow conditions. And then I caught the last full moon of 2023, the full cold moon. Today a fast moving storm will bring the winds up later today in a brief period of some snow. It is Wednesday, December 27th, 2023. Sun is just starting to come out from behind the clouds early on Wednesday morning and I went uh, skiing up to the hill on Christmas Day and ran into the Grinch and Cindy Lou Who were out on the hill. I mentioned that uh, Cindy Lou Who would give Glenn Plake a uh, run for his money as far as a hairdo or not really a mohawk but boy what a great hairdo on Cindy Lou Who and the Grinch on Christmas Day. And then I caught the last full moon of 2023, the full cold moon came up last night, right after sunset or right about the same time. And actually the full moon, the actual full, full moon was around the same time too. That only happens once a year. Um, then I, uh, what else did I do yesterday? Oh, they, oh, today, in today's weather, a fast moving storm will bring the winds up a little bit later today with a brief period possible of some light snow. It's a fast moving system. It is Wednesday, December 27th, 2023. Hello everyone, I'm Dan McConnell. The sun's coming up at 7.22 a.m., sets at 4.45 p.m. We started to gain sunlight time at the end of the day, but not really sunlight time uh, throughout the whole day if you add it all up, because the sun rises still at about the same time. In fact, I think we still lose about a minute or so at the beginning of the day, but the days are slowly getting longer. So light snow is possible later today as a mild system comes through the area, a chance a little bit uh, with a little bit of snow, and then unsettled weather into the weekend as a storm door, as according to the National Weather Service in Reno, remains ajar. Um, it's 22 degrees down at Mammoth Airport this morning after 54 on Tuesday. Barometric pressure up there at 30.23. 34 degrees in Bishop after 60 degrees yesterday. 30 degrees here in town. And then right after sunrise, so it's 30 degrees. 30, it's 30 degrees in town, 48 on Tuesday. Um, right at the 32 uh, degree mark up at the main lodge, so that's a freezing temp at 7 a.m. with a 40 degree high up main lodge yesterday. Up at the top it was 21 with a low of 27. So the uh, temperatures up at the top will remain in the 20s and the uh, snow conditions up there, uh, some south southwest winds, 40 to 50 miles per hour already at the top. So there is a little bit of wind blown snow, but the snow conditions are pretty variable. So get out there and have some fun but be safe and careful, don't go too fast. So that system that will brush by later today will be clearing out fast with quiet weather on Thursday and Friday, then kind of unsettled over the weekend. There's very slight chances of snow in the mountains, but not much happening. Then a stronger system will move in uh, Saturday night into Sunday and a better potential for snow in Mono County with up to a foot possible actually on the mountain with some strong winds uh, but not too strong uh, in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range not really um, not really strong, strong, uh, damaging winds. So a more meaningful storm is possible next week around the 3rd and the 4th of uh, January next year. But that, uh, that system does look a little colder, but there's still a lot of variability in that long range outlook. And according to the National Weather Service in Reno, uh, in San Francisco, sorry, the surf is up with 20 to 26 foot high waves in their forecast and coastal flooding advisories for the North Bay over in the 
the San Francisco area. Yeah, there's a strong, strong, super strong low pressure system out over the ocean that is kicking up the waves. And again, 20 to 26 foot waves expected in the North Bay. Uh, Mammoth Mountain's open from 8.30 until 4. 16 lifts are open. The village gondola's open. The eagle, the little eagle chair is open. And the new uh, Canyon Express chair is open. Uh, upper and lower gondolas will probably be, still be open, but I'd call the snow conditions somewhat like spring. So it's pretty variable. So again, I'll mention once again, please be safe. We don't want you getting hurt up there. We just want you to have some fun and you don't have to meet your um, forecasts. <laughs> financial forecast. A June Mountain is open with two runs. It was 37 degrees over there at the at the chalet at 7.30 a.m. They had a high of 45 yesterday and about the same expected today with just light winds. On this day in history, in 1831, Charles Darwin began his voyage that led to the discoveries of the forming of his theory on evolution. 1947, the kids TV show Howdy Doody debuted. Wonder what he evolved from. And then 71, the Peanuts characters were on the cover of Time magazine. That was Charles Schultz's invention. Um, yeah, let's see. Birthday scientist Johannes Kepler and Louis Pasteur's birthday today. Actress Marlene Dietrich and Mick Jones of Foreigner. Also quite a few locals, one of our best friends ever. And kids ski race coach Connie Lietza Moyer's birthday. Happy birthday, Connie. Patricia Dunlap's birthday today. Um, burner, burner, bus man, I call him, Devin Hall's birthday. Lonnie Newbury, a well-established local. Happy birthday, Lonnie. Marianne Chase Schimmel, another local. I see her around quite a bit, doing a lot of volunteer work. Happy birthday, Marianne Chase Schimmel. Um, Carrot Kari, beer, beer and Biancini, Biancini, I think it's Kari. Happy birthday, Carly. Kari. She used to work at Slocum's. Remember Slocum's? Mary Lawrence, Cordy Lawrence's wife. Happy birthday, Mary. Photographer Robert Ninfo's birthday. Max Coster, Julia English, English, and Katie Ryan, who's up in I think Leavenworth, Washington now. Former, uh, she developed a lot of the uh, menu down at the Mountain Rambler. Happy birthday, Katie Ryan. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. Make today the best day ever. Get ready for a little snow, a little more snow, then maybe a little more snow. Time will tell. And I did hear a robin. Not a good sound to hear in late December. <laughs>